Hi everyone, I'm Rachel. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create Vaporwave art using the Color Therapy app. Vaporwave is a new style of art that appropriates 80s and 90s imagery. It's inspired by the electronic music genre. Notice how the use of just purple, neon pink, and blue dominate it. To find this image, search for bridge in the search box. So if you go to Google and search for Vaporwave, you'll find a lot of images like this. You'll see that a lot of them are dominated by purples, pinks, blues, neon, yellows. And then we have a lot of like leading lines as well as geometric shapes. So we'll use this as inspiration. So first, let's start off by working on the background. So go under the Dark Shades 2 palette, set it to Gradient. Any of these are going to be really good for your background color. I'm going to use the very last color. And I'll make sure that the gradient is set from purple down to the light blue. And I'll just tap to fill that into the background. Now scroll over to the Colorful Metallic palette, set to Gradient, and choose the dark purple and black gradient on the second row and set the gradient so that it is darker on the right side and then tap to fill in all those buildings. And then you'll want to switch the gradient so it's the opposite side and then tap to fill in the right side of all the buildings. The reason why I'm making it lighter on the left side of all the buildings is because I want to add a sun or a moon in the left hand side. So now let's add that sun in there. So go under the neon palette, set it to solid this time and just choose a bright neon pink. Now let's go under the manual mode and select the pen tool, set the opacity to 100 and the size at 4%. Make sure coloring inside the lines mode is set to on. And then I'm just going to zoom in here and draw a big old sun like that. And then you can raise the size to like 30 or so and then fill that in. Now let's make it a little more exciting. Let's add some neon blue in there. So I'll use the brightest neon blue on the top row. And now you can lower the opacity to 50 or below. And then I'm just going to draw in a little bit of blue, just kind of scribble it into the sun. Now go to the smear tool, set the opacity to 100 and size at 50. And then using your finger, just go ahead and smear those colors together, going from pink to blue. Now we want to draw a reflection on the buildings from the sun. So go to the airbrush tool. I'm going to set the size to 55 and opacity at 65. Now using that same neon pink, you're just going to draw a very nice light reflection going on all the left sides of the buildings. And the ones that are closer to the sun, they can be on the left and the right side. Now let's add in some details to the buildings to make them come alive. So select the pen tool again, set the size to 2% and opacity leave at 50. Just zoom into one of the buildings there. Make sure you have a white or a really light color selected. And then with your finger, you can sort of dot or make short strokes going across the buildings. Some of them can be shorter, some can be longer, and some of them you can clump together and then you can also skip areas too. And then just apply that to all the buildings. Now I'm going to use a bright blue to add a glow to the buildings. Select the airbrush tool, set the size to five and set the opacity at 65. Using that bright neon blue we used before, just zoom into one of the buildings and just trace around the edges. So now it has that really cool 80s glow to it. And then to finish it off, what I would do is use colors from the neon palette. You can use solid or gradient and tap to fill in the rest of the image. For example, I'll use that same blue and just tap to fill in the upper part of the bridge. Then I'll use the second gradient on the top, set that from light to dark with the lighter pink on the top. And I'm just going to tap to fill in the little parts of the bridge as well. So the goal is just to make it as bright and neon as possible and just continue to tap to fill it in how you want and just have fun with it. When you're finished, remove the lines and use shadow under the effects tab. You can transform any scene in the app to look like vaporwave art by limiting your colors and using neon as well as highlighting geometric shapes. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.